move on to the viral structure. Viral structures can be seen to maybe be more simpler than the bacteria structure, as viral structures aren't even considered to be cellular. They're not even considered to be living things. So, obviously a virus lives inside a host. And this can be seen as we can describe this as the envelope membrane of the host. And the virus has the protein coat which is inside. And viruses can either have RNA or DNA, but not both at the same time. And this is what is inside. Lastly, um, some viruses have surface proteins, such as the influenza virus. You might have seen these before. Um, my drawings aren't very good, but it looks somewhat like this. So, now that we know the structures, let's compare. Oh, lastly, the RNA and DNA are the genetic material of the virus. Since the virus does not have ribosomes or any other things, we can see that the viruses um, get their energy from the host cell. That is why the virus structure is much more simpler than the prokaryotic cell. So, let's compare. The bacteria is a prokaryotic cell, as mentioned. Therefore, it does not need a host. And because it's prokaryotic cells, prokaryotic cells always will have a peptidoglycan cell wall, also known as neurin. Bacteria cells also are mostly unicellular. And they can be seen under a microscope, so they are larger than the virus. Now, let's look at the virus cells. Virus cells are not considered living, as mentioned, since they need a host cell to live. They have a protein coat, but they don't have any cells. And they are also smaller than bacteria, and they cannot be seen just under a microscope. And they have a DNA or RNA strand present, but not both at the same time. Therefore, they also have nucleic acid. So. Um, one last thing to mention, they both are pathogens, however, viruses need a host cell to live. They also, since they are both pathogens that can cause um, diseases, they do both re re reproduce and replicate. Viruses replicate inside the host and can actually damage and kill the host. And bacteria can reproduce very quickly and produce toxins. So that is bacteria and viruses. Thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions, if, if I've missed anything important. Also comment down any new topics that you would like us to cover and please like and subscribe to support the cause. Thank you for watching, big things made simple. Bye, see you next time.